So, this is our day three at Gilligham's. Right. And um, we're just having a break from the big lake. The main lake is behind me here, and it's a small part of the lake here. And we're going up to the smaller lake when it's plenty of fish, but a little bit smaller. Uh, but it's a lot of fun for an hour or two uh, in the mid time when it's a little bit slower in the big lake. So, beautiful area here. All like rainforests, like more or less all around us, right? Yeah, it is rainforest and the mountains are huge. Yeah, it's... If you look around you, the rocks are just sticking straight yeah, up. Yeah, we see if ground. you can see that if you're turning around here. Yeah. Very, see. very cool. Yeah, big mountain behind us here. And this is just a small bay here of the main lake here. So, yeah, let's see what's going on up here. Fish on. Yes. <laughs> I think it's a tilapia. No tilapia. I think it could, could be a red tail or a puckle. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's going really high up now. So I don't know where it actually is. It's a bit exciting. It's cool. <laughs> no, it's kind of big. And I have a small baby. R really light rod right now. so. Yeah. Here for this yeah, so the fish not, don't have to be that big, really. Not that small either. For, for being here, it's not a bad fish, I don't think. It's a good fish. We got some company coming over there. wish to get the fish more out from the weed, out from the free open water, there's no problem. Then it's just the tackle can break or the hook. I have no clue what it is. No clue. Even here in the smaller lake, they have a red tail up to 50 pounds. So that's not a bad fish. At least it's not 50 pounds, but it's a lot of fun. Close now. Yeah, so so. Because the tackle is so light here and the fish is decent big also, mm. it's impossible to just bring them straight up there. It's been well fed. Well fed, yeah. And the rod is up to 40 grams. So that means it's, it's made for like smaller pike or trout and stuff like this. Absolutely not really made for this, but it's working really well for it. Really, really, really good for this type of fishing. Four pieces, so perfect for bringing all the way down to Thailand from Nordic country. 
I haven't seen seen anything yet. No, it's all over here. I mean, and the bubble is coming up, showing it's, it's a decent fish. But there are like four or five species in this lake, right? Fifty. Fifty species. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a Julian. A big Julian. A you had one uh, the day before yesterday. Yeah, but this one is way bigger. Yeah. So this is what they call Julian's carp here and uh, it's a good one, a good one for be here. Really cool looking fish, like a tiger fish and barbell mixed together almost. Really good scrap and a good fight like you saw. Right, like it goes. Got it. Get in, yeah. Not the Julians, but this one is actually half size. That's that one. Still a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Big, big fighters. No, you can leave it. Just relax. relax. There we go. Now the Julian's carp from Gilligams. Caught spotted with my leech and my sonic rod, so plenty of fun. Alright, so back you go and take a picture. Fish on. <laughs> this is a kind of big fish for my small baby rod, <laughs> and it went straight under, under there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but I'm kind of happy with this one. Finally, a new species, red tail. A red tail, yeah, a small one. Small one, but kind of big for be this lake, and uh, big for this little tackle. <laughs> this one took on my. Travel rod, my sonic travel rod, made for smaller fish like perch and whatever. But this was a really good fight there, straight under the bushes. Amazing cool fish. All right, back you go. Mm. Yeah. So right now we went for a small lake. Uh, and uh, I had a pretty decent catfish over there, right? For the small rod. So, yeah, yeah, really good. <laughs> I was uh, impressed. <laughs> yeah, it was an interesting fight. So You were a bit lucky. I was lucky there, yeah. for sure. So my, my rod is a sonic travel rod and it's not really made for fishing this size. But uh, gorgeous place, gorgeous, gorgeous. And uh, the small lake is... Uh, uh, much smaller than the main lake and having uh, much smaller fish, but still uh, some decent fish up to 50 pounds. So, absolutely not impossible to catch a green fish up there either. So, I've been catching five type of species up there now, and uh, it's a good backup. It's a good uh, backup plan, and uh, it's still a lot of fun up there. Main lake is of, uh, is of course, you never know. I mean, it, it could be pain in the ass here. There's so much swims down here also and so many people fishing down here so it's not easy but the small lake just use a PVA bag spot out some uh, pellets uh, boilers and then just give it a go and you will probably catch a fish or two up there uh, but uh, Gillihams I mean for, even for Niklas 
It's not a fisherman. He's enjoying this beautiful area. Yeah. Let's see if we can see some more here. Bars too. <laughs> bars. Or a bar at least. Well, I don't think I would call it a bar because they're coming out to you with a drink. So. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a spa also. A bar where the waiter can walk very long. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here's a part of the main lake. The mountain behind us. Gorgeous place. All right, now we're going back to the main lake and try to catch a big one. He's about to give up. Getting closer to the end, but it's still fighting so hard, isn't it? Good, good stamina. Amazing. It's a pretty decent, decent size for the year. You've been fighting him for uh, almost 10 minutes. Paco? That's uh, one of the piranha family. That's so cool. Oh, this one is sharp really teeth. Cool fish, yeah. This is a really cool fish. Okay. Mm, this is cool. Yeah, Du får nästan slida en, ja, han är väldigt försiktig så han får en bara snipa av allting. Nej, du får slida annars på henne. Men eh, det står ju här, det är nej. Gå upp dit. Nej, jag måste tänka ta tag i linan. Nej, du måste gå back upp. Ja, men, ja, men, då, får du, ja, men då får du ta ett linan då. Ja, men du måste gå dit. Ja, ja men då måste du ta, ta linan då. Nej, men jag fightar aldrig på linan. Ja, jag måste ta tag i linan. Ja, ah, men du måste gå upp och gå dit. Jo, jo, men då är det att jag ska ta tag i linan, tänker jag. Hoppa där. Vi får tappa den nu. Ja, jag får tappa den nu. Det är en sån här killer. Ja, inte så lämpligt. Sitt där då. Nej, nej, du får ta den här. Ta den här. Ja, ja, ja. Fan, fin pappa. Den här tången. Ja, typ. Tack. So this is a like the spurt, kind of piranha? piranha? Yeah, there is, if you're checking the mouth here. Yeah. You see here, I was really, really lucky. Because the hook is... So if I put my finger there... Then you're fucked. Okay. I ah, won't beat my finger. On piranha. He can beat my beat... Hold it on the other side. There it is. Hold it on the other side. Pass the fingers. You don't film me, Niklas. So this is species number four today, and a Mekong. And they are not easy to handle. I think you need to take a better grip. Oh, that's good, yeah. Hold on. Nice, was it a good fight? Yeah, it was a good fight. But this is a baby. This is a baby, but on the rods, on the small rods we're using, they make it up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Say goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. All right. Let's go. Yay.